Welcome to the Calix Services channel. I am Thelma and today's video is going to be a little different from the hands-on demonstrations that you're accustomed to. That's because Calix has achieved a second major milestone in our mission to provide technically strong, up-to-date and relevant information to gardeners and farmers. And we want to share that with you and to commend those that are involved. So please keep watching. Thanks for staying and a special welcome to our regular viewers and subscribers. And if you're visiting for the first time, we invite you to take a look at some of our over 60 videos on agricultural matters. And if you like what you see, please consider subscribing. So what's this new milestone I'm talking about? Our first milestone was the launch of this garden channel exactly one year ago. It's been rewarding sharing our knowledge and our garden with you. We will do our one year anniversary video next week. The second milestone is the adoption by the IVPT, that's the Institute of Vocational and Professional Training. They've adopted the Calix training resources as the basis for their curriculum and instructions at their new School of Agriculture. And in this video, we will be introducing the IVPT to you and sharing some of the activities from the launch of their new School of Agriculture. The IVPT is the training arm of the Spring Village Development Foundation. It is located in the vibrant community of Spring Village, approximately nine miles west of Spanish Town, Jamaica, and in the middle of the large, expansive irrigated plains that are ideal for agriculture. The Institute's campus adjoins the processing facilities of the Jamaica Broilers Group, a key employer in the parish, and a major sponsor of the Institute. The IVPT is approved by Jamaica's National Skills Training Agency, the HART NSTA, and since 1998 has been providing training to persons 17 years and older, leading to levels 2 and 3 certification in a number of vocations. Here is a list of some of the courses that they offer. May 26, 2022 was a very proud day for the Institute, its partners and the community as they celebrated the official launch of the IVPT School of Agriculture. And yes, Calix was definitely there. We took the occasion to discuss our publications with teachers, residents, sector leaders, and other stakeholders. We also showcased some of the production from the Calix Garden. The response was very positive, and no doubt some persons were encouraged to take backyard gardening more seriously. While the discussions continue, let me take you on a quick virtual tour of three key facilities or training labs, uh, beginning with the Greenhouse Technology Lab. This facility was donated, installed, and equipped by Jalawelo, a small organization of caring Jamaicans that is based in the U.S., but that is contributing to the development of persons and communities in Jamaica. It is equipped with the latest technologies and will be used to train persons how to grow crops efficiently without soil and pesticides in a protected environment. Although the wind is interfering with the audio, let's briefly listen in to what the Executive Chairman, Mr. Randy Finnegan, is saying to these students. Lose sanitation. And then it could compromise. If we if we are not on top of our sanitation, it could compromise the health production and the health of the plant also. So the, the shit on the, on the ground, it, it allows for clean um, production growing environment and it helps to reduce um, 
the, the you know, pest on the seeds. But importantly too, what you want to do is that you also want to manage your costs. So if you don't have pest and disease to be fighting and have to be throwing pesticides at it, then we can save it. So as you just heard, Mr. Finnegan has pointed out to the students the role that the mesh cover plays in sanitation and in pest management. And I'm quite happy to hear him focus the attention of students on costs. Next up on our tour is the poultry lab, which was built by the IVPT and equipped by Hyprofeeds, a division of the Jamaica Broilers Group. It will be used to train students and other interested persons in small-scale broiler production. It is properly ventilated and equipped with waterers, feeders, and a brooding area behind the white curtain you see there, where the baby chicks will be reared for a few weeks before they are moved to the general area. This facility is large enough to accommodate 600 chickens per batch, which should make the Institute's canteen self-sufficient in poultry meat and with a potential for sale to the community. And this brings me to the last stop on the tour, where the bees are making all that delicious honey. This training apiary consists of 95 boxes of bees and has been in operation for about 15 years now. The demand for Jamaican honey far exceeds its supply, and that no doubt accounts for the popularity of the beekeeping course here at the IVPT. And at the launch, I mean, I had a hard time getting my hands on an extra bottle of honey. It was a very successful launch. Everything worked in their favor. The weather was fine. The community came out in, it, in their numbers, and there was lots of excitement, lots of music in the air. Also, very importantly, all the major stakeholders were given the opportunity to pledge their continuing support to the Institute. Of particular importance is the continued collaboration between the IVPT and Calix. So, I know you'd like to join me in congratulating the IVPT on this very important achievement. And if you would like more information on this institute, we'll ask you to check their website and their Facebook page, both of which we are going to be providing you the link. Calix is very interested in collaborating with similar institutions in Jamaica and other countries. And if you have any suggestions, please let us know in the comment box. This brings me to the end of the video. We hope you liked it and will share it with your friends. And for those of you who haven't subscribed as yet, please subscribe so that you don't miss any of the important notifications. And as I have promised, next week's video would be very interesting as we are going to be doing a tour of the garden, comparing where we were a year ago when we started this channel and the development over the last 12 months. I'm sure you wouldn't want to miss that. So thanks for watching, I'm Thelma and until the next week's video, bye bye.